If you find that the sounds that you're making are maybe a little bit too laid back or the filtering that you're using sounds a little bit soft in nature, you can add some drive to proceedings to make things more edgy and a bit more upfront. Now, there are really two different kinds of drive when it comes to filtering, the sort of pre-filter and post-filter drive, and that's literally as simple as it sounds. You sometimes drive before the filter and sometimes drive after it. Now, some synths don't have any drive at all, but if you see a drive in the filter section, likelihood is it's pre-filter drive. Now, what this means is that you're actually going to filter the effects of that drive. So if the drive's quite harsh and quite um, quite full on, the low pass filter that you use will actually take the top end off it and smooth it, make it smoother and smoothen it out. Okay. If you use post filter drive, then the likelihood is that no matter what you do in the filter, you're still going to get that grungy sort of distortion and high end uh, and extra harmonics. You, you're not going to filter that out by changing the the cutoff. So let me show you an example of what I mean by both pre and post filter. So in the ES2 here, we've got the drive within the filter, and this is our pre-filter drive. So I'm going to sort of up it up the uh, the amount of that as we go, and then I'm going to filter, knock the cutoff frequency back, so you can hear it filtering the effects. <laughs> Now you can hear the sort of extra harmonics added there. If I knock it back, it obviously adds extra perceived volume, but it's adding those sort of high-end crunchy harmonics. Now if I bring the filter frequency down, we can remove those and smooth it out. And the resonance, the effect of the resonance is generally reduced when you use this much drive. You can still hear it, but it's not as whistly. Look, if I take the drive off, it almost softens it up a little. And this is what would happen in an analog synth, so it's really just modeling what would happen in a circuit if you introduce pre-filter drive. So now let's listen to post-filter drive. And here we've got a distortion unit in the effects section of the synth. And I'll just leave it on soft because the this is really just sort of analog saturation. So we'll try and emulate it. And I'll go about 60%, adding about 15 dB. But let's go full on. Now you can hear even when I filter it down there, you can still hear the higher frequencies it's not the same sound as if I add the drive here. We can smooth this off a lot more. It still sounds very cool, it's just a different effect. It's happening after the filter. And the resonance isn't as tamed. There's also a hard setting. So there you go, that's pre and post filter drive. Both are really cool, but if you want to push the filter and make it hotter and keep everything controlled, you probably want to stick with the pre filter drive. If you don't care, try both of them. <laughs> try the post filter, but you know, if you want to keep things under wraps and be able to control it all, then stick with that pre filter drive. So next up, I'm going to move on to the mod matrix and modulation. So we're going to look at the mod matrix in the ES2, and I'm also going to look at modulation in some of the other synths in Logic as well.